Hey, what's up? David Alex here for Ideas to Creations. Welcome to this video demo for I2C Transit. I2C Transit is basically an, uh, a batch animator that lets you animate a whole bunch of stuff at the same time, as, as it may sound, or all at once, whatever. So you can use it for typography, you can use it for slideshows, presentations, all those fancy things. So right now what I have here is this bunch of images, and they're all being animated by this transit guy here. And it has a bunch of controls you can tweak. I'm going to show you that right now. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short so, you know, don't waste too much time. So I'm going to drop this into the comp button and uh, selected my images, drop it into the new comp button. You can choose single composition, use dimensions from whoever, and uh, still duration, three seconds, sequence layers. Okay. So now we have these guys sequenced like this. Uh, doing some funny uh, popping in and out, which looks pretty boring. What I want to do is have it uh, animate like opacity and position and such things. So create a new null object, hit enter, type transit with a capital T, which is very important actually. And uh, we'll come in here, transit null, drop that into the null object, and then select all these four images, count transit layer, double click to apply to all of them. And there we go. So uh, we have it applied, and now we get a basic fade in and fade out. I can switch this off. Uh, so now we have them fading in and fading out, uh, not too bad, but uh, let's see what else we can do. Over here we have in properties and out properties, there is I I2C transit actually. And um, you have fade in time, uh, which is how long it takes to fade in and fade out. And then you have in properties and out properties. So for in properties, we can say set amount to like negative, uh, negative 200. What's going to happen is before the in, it's going to be pushed up. And in is basically how it animates in. Out section is how it animates out. So right now we have in from minus 200, so it goes uh, 200 pixels and then fades out. So we can do all sorts of things, like for now, let's say put this to 200 as well, so that this goes down and then that goes down like that. So with each animation we get um, all the layers, sorry, which with each layer we get a pretty interesting animation of them going up and down. Uh, you can add stuff like rotation, so that for in rotation they rotate in, uh, rotate. Whoa. They rotate in, and uh, basically just move around like this. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, let's set this to zero, and we can add scale like minus one hundred on the x, so that they do something like this. Uh, so it you can do some pretty interesting stuff. It's really up to what you can come up with. In opacity, out opacity, uh, you can choose whether you want opacity or just to have them clip off or clip on, entirely up to you. Uh, another thing is that all the values are relative. So like if you have this layer here where the dimensions are not looking too good, you can select it, let's say you move this down here. And then what happens is now, because it's relative to that, wherever that layer is, all these values are going to be added or subtracted from it so that you get... Uh, something that works pretty nicely so for let's say a randomized animation i can move this over here and say move this over here uh, let's say move this guy here and keep this guy wherever he is maybe move it this way so what happens now is that everyone animates wherever they are which i think is uh, very useful so because all the va like i said because all the values are relative um we can even come and say scale this down I'm just gonna do some random scaling. Won't worry about dimensions right now. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Select the next one, scale it down. Select the next one, scale it down. Maybe put them a bit cleaner. A bit. Wow. Um, maybe intersect them a bit more. So now what happens now is that we get these random guys just showing up looks pretty interesting I, I really like it um uh that's that's uh pretty cool now another thing you can do as well is uh let's say if you have another image you want to bring in like let's see import recent file uh let's see import import file uh you have another image you want to bring in and you also want to animate this with transit and like i said it's relative to the layers in point and out point so Right now it's just popping in and out, not nice. All you need to do is double click on transit layer again, that gets applied and now it conforms to everything else. So all this once again is happening thanks to transit and I guess if we switch this off we just see the layers popping in and out. But anyway, that's it uh, for this demo. 
um, there's there's a bunch of stuff you can still do with this. Uh, really, entirely up to what you can come up with. But uh, as for this tutorial, uh, that's it, and I will see you in the next one.